we're in a bit of a precarious situation already in that we have these dried artificially dried landscapes and then when you get something like two weeks of plus 30 it just puts that added strain on there. Alberta is experiencing what some call a flash drought, a hot summer with less rain than normal that is impacting plants, gardens and crops. A master gardener in Edmonton shares the signs of drought you might see on your plants. You'll see maybe browning of, uh, of the leaves of plants, um, curling if it's really bad and so uh, yeah those are all signs of some water stress. Some other preventative measures he mentions are reducing bricks and patios in your yard and packing as many plants in the space as possible so they can protect and nourish each other. Build really healthy soil by adding things like leaves, compost, mulch, uh, and that's going to build up over time. And then when it does rain, it's going to hold on to all of that water so that um, the plants can slowly access it. Another thing droughts affect are wildfires, which can affect our air quality. Your air quality might be poor as well. Um, on top of having consequences uh, related to agriculture and crops. And even if it's rained recently, that doesn't mean that your situation is much improved. So some parts of Alberta have received enough uh, precipitation that their fire risk, for instance, isn't as high as it was. But it still exists. It's like it's not down to zero. For the master gardener and Green Cities advocate, preventing urban drought damage all comes down to the ground. Unless we actually bring back nutrients to the landscape, to the soil, our soil is going to become depleted over time, and that's going to keep reducing our ability to to create that living sponge that holds on to water in the landscape. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.